Let's say you want to create some text with a really cool image in the background. Well, it's really simple to do. All you need is an image and some text. So let's get started. So here I've already grabbed an image for us. So I'm just going to take this image and I'm going to put it on the next screen. And I'm going to enlarge that image. And then I'm going to grab the text so you don't have to watch me type in the text. But basically, it's just a text element that I add. I'm going to paste this on the screen. And notice now I've got the text and I've got my image. So now this is one thing that is very important, the order that you select. You need to select the image first, and then you need to select the text. Image, hold down Shift, and hit Text. So once you have the image and the text, you want to go to Format Drawing Tools. And under Format Drawing Tools is this little icon here that is actually the Merge Shapes icon. You want to click on the Merge Shapes icon, and we're going to go down to Intersect. And you click on Intersect, and notice what happens. Now the image has become part of the text. Now, one thing to realize is that the text now is no longer text. It is an image. So I can treat it and move it and manipulate it like an image, but it's no longer text. I can't add text or anything like that. So the steps are pretty simple. Choose an image first, then choose the image and the text. Select the format with your underneath drawing tools. Select merge shapes and then choose intersect and you've got it. But let's look at some other things that you can do. So here's one that I've done. I've got you know this image here, and I've got the word healthy food. And maybe I want to combine these in a couple of different ways for maybe an infographic, a poster, or just a presentation that I happen to be doing. So I'm going to select the background as I did. I'm going to hit Shift. I'm going to select the word. And I'm going to go up to Format again. And I'm going to go to my Merge Shapes. And I'm going to click on that. And now I'm going to show you some things. If I do a union, it puts them as one image, right? So that's not what I want at all. So let's undo that. And let's um, make sure we undo that. Yes. And then let's go back to our drawing tools. Let's go back to our merge shapes. If we combine them, this is kind of a nice feature. So what it does is it adds the elements together and makes the words pop. And that's really nice if you want a word to pop on the back of an image that you have and there's some white in there or some other color that you really want gone completely. So it just cuts it out completely, which is nice. Now, the next thing you can do is fragment. We're going to skip that for a second. Intersect is also really nice. We just saw that before, but here's another example of intersect. Then there's also subtract, which basically does the same thing as we saw up here combined. But if we look at Fragment, that does some really cool stuff. So we'll go ahead and click Fragment. Now notice what happened. It actually fragmented or cut out all the letters of the image as if it was a piece of paper cutter cutting it. So let's remove the image. Pretend this is a perforated image. We remove it and look at this. I've got all the letters that are individual. I can move the H where I want it. I can move the E where I want it. And it even cuts out the little elements of A's and E's and O's. So here's like a tomato and the O I can cut out. There's another tomato I can cut out. I can cut out some, uh, I don't know if that's broccoli or what that is, but I can cut and then I can move all of these letters. So if you use fragment, you get a lot of freedom of how you want to use the letters. Maybe you'd want to do something like, oh, I don't know, uh, diagonally. And having said that, you can even enlarge or shrink the letters that you want. So that gives you a lot of capabilities. So that's how you can quickly add an image to text in your PowerPoint presentations.